Hey guys, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to discuss custom fields for opportunities. So just so you don't get confused, custom fields was a feature for contacts. We could create custom fields for contacts. This is a bit different. This is custom field for the opportunities in a pipeline, right? And this is a really important feature to understand. That's why I'm making this video separately. And we need to understand the basic difference between the opportunities and contacts first in order to understand this use case and also i'm going to show you how to use custom fields for opportunities in workflows and automations so let's try to understand the difference between contacts and opportunities a contact is something that has a name email phone number and lots of other attributes those can be handled via custom fields right so we usually created custom fields like what service do you need uh where's your property located you know what's your budget you know all those stuff but those are attributes of the contact itself a contact becomes an opportunity when it uh you know when it's added to the pipeline and the pipeline is basically the sales process so a contact when added to the sales process becomes an opportunity and questions that related to opportunities for, for example one common question for an opportunity is is this opportunity or is this lead likely to convert yes no maybe so a question with three possible answers that's a question for the opportunity not the contact because the contact is just a contact and that's not part of the sales process when it becomes an opportunity then that question is this likely to convert makes more sense because a contact can be part of multiple opportunities right so if you entitle the question to the contact you don't know what opportunity are you asking this question for so that has to be on an opportunity level not on a contact level hope that makes sense so let's actually try to understand this a bit better so the use cases for custom fields for opportunities is sales deadlines so it could be like when is this opportunity likely to convert so it, it could be a date field and that's only for the opportunity right that's not a question for the contact because the contact is not part of any sales process yet unless that's added to an opportunity so you can create custom field for each opportunity sales closing date to ensure your team knows it's all critical deadlines so that's a field you're creating for the opportunity where you can just select date and that date indicates when this opportunity is likely to convert or something, you know, closing date. Sales stages, that's also uh, a question for the opportunity. So, uh, you know, previously we used to handle this through uh, through opportunity notes. We used to write like, yeah, need assessment, you know, need to follow up after one month, you know, all those stuff we used to write in, in the notes section. But now you can create custom fields to write down the different stages, right? So is this like uh, such as initial contact needs assessment negotiation final closing you know what exact stage is this opportunity in right now you know all those stuff and product details client preferences you know uh industry or occupation like likelihood of conversion yeah this one was already discussed by uh yeah by me customer's budget is also another uh good one so a contact can be added to multiple opportunities and these questions need to be that's why I ask in an opportunity level because unless you ask it in an opportunity level or in pipeline level it doesn't make much of a sense so i'm gonna create i'm gonna actually create uh custom fields for opportunities now so let me go to my demo account let me go to settings and let me go to custom fields and now let me add a field so let me add a date field date picker conversion deadline so when is this when is this likely to convert right so the object needs to be instead of contact it needs to be an opportunity okay group opportunity details okay that's fine done and i know you cannot see it here you need to just filter by opportunity uh, details here and this is the custom field i just created right now another use case or another question is likelihood of conversion okay let me copy that from here i mean you can create your own opportunity fields but i'm just uh trying to stick with this use case here so i'm gonna say it's, it's gonna be radio select all right yes no maybe and opportunity here and here i'll choose group opportunity details okay that's done 
so now in opportunities i can create a folder right so i can create folders like uh let's give it a use case of uh let's say we have a questions uh related to assessment so assessment is our folder and it shouldn't be for opportunity uh, for contacts it should be for opportunities so let's create a couple of fields for assessment so date picker the first question is assessment date and this should go under opportunity and this should go under assessment this is our first field right and uh, multi-line opportunity additional details so these are questions related to the assessment that's why i'm grouping them through a folder and uh, okay there we go so when we select opportunity details it gives me assessment date details uh you know all those stuff and if i uh if i just filter through the assessment folder it's gonna give me the questions that i created under that folder right that's all okay let me go back to my opportunities then for example i have a leads pipeline over here i'm gonna select i'm gonna create an opportunity now so i'm gonna say richard I'm going to create a contact here. Richard. Tom. Richard, okay, leads pipeline. Status, okay, owner, unassigned, that's fine. The thing that I want to show you is conversion deadline. So I can stick a conversion deadline to this. So whoever is doing the follow ups or the nurture for this company can come here and know for sure that okay this is it has to be closed before that okay so i'm, I'm gonna say um 15 of march okay likelihood of conversion maybe so this can be changed after our next conversation with this person uh yeah so th these can be changed right so i'm gonna create this opportunity here okay now after creating the opportunity if you go to this opportunity tile it gives you another folder right so you can here come over here and you can update the stuff for the custom fields that i created under this folder in this opportunity right so i'm going to say assessment date is 29 additional details none for now you know so this is how it works guys so this is not a contact custom field instead it's an opportunity custom field and finally i need to show you how it can be used in a workflow so automation I'm going to create a new workflow here. And if I come down here, just a uh, opportunity custom fields. So we need to really understand something before we start implementing something here. So we need to have a trigger that's related to the opportunities. So if I come down here, it says opportunities. So either one of these five works in this case otherwise you they won't allow you to use those opportunity custom fields in any other workflow actions so it has to be either opportunity status changed or opportunity created or opportunity changed pipeline state changed stale opportunities which is like which works on a duration basis so i'm going to say when the opportunity is created in pipeline yeah it's been doing this in pipeline leads and the opportunity is in stage new leads what we want to do is we want to send an internal notification to whoever is doing the sales or the sales nurture and here you can fill up the form from name and from email fields to user type custom email i'm gonna say john at mail.com so this is going to be the user who's going to nurture the opportunities and stuff, you know. So new opportunity in leads pipeline. And here we will write, hi, there is a new opportunity leads pipe, pipeline name, email. And here, let's go for the custom values dot contact dot full name. 
and email custom values contact email now we want to use the opportunity custom values or custom fields right so we want to say assess meant date so if we if we click on custom values go to opportunities so this is not going to appear unless it's an an opportunity or pipeline related trigger you know so don't get confused if you don't see those it's just because you you are not using the trigger uh, related to opportunity and pipeline right so i'm going to say custom values again so i'm going to go to i'm going to go to assessment date custom values opportunity custom fields assessment date and if we want to show one more likely of conversion this is not a like a really strong use case guys so i'm, I'm just gonna i'm just trying to show you how these are being used you can think of any other use case based on your your business so so these are how you can use the custom fields for opportunities inside inside your workflows and just it just needs to be opportunity or pipeline trigger in order for this to work and publish and hit save so that's how you use custom fields for opportunities in in your automations right so yeah hopefully this was helpful and make sure you subscribe if this was helpful and i will see you in the next one Thank you.